There are many different wine grapes, equipment, and methods that can be used in the crafting of a dry red wine. To produce quality dry red wines, the most important part is the grape. The grapes must be grown with balance and attention to detail. The grapes must be matured properly, reaching the desirable sugar, acidity, and flavor. At Landry Vineyards, with 17 acres in the ground, we are committed to growing grapes right here in Louisiana. We grow Blanc du Bois, Lenoir, and Crimson Cabernet. We are not able to grow vinifera wine grapes such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Malbec, and Chardonnay because these grapes are highly susceptible to pierce disease and fungus, though they are highly marketable. Therefore, we purchase these grapes, which helps us to be successful as a winery. As a winemaker, it is a great pleasure to work with these quality wine grapes. At Landry Vineyards, we have developed strong relationships with growers in California and Washington State. The grapes are hand-picked into small bins, chilled to 34 degrees, and transported on a refrigerated truck. We purchase 80 tons or four truckloads per year. Immediately upon arrival, we unload the grapes and begin processing the fruit. The auger delivers the grapes to the crusher destemmer. The crusher destemmer first removes the stems, gently pops the grapes open, and delivers the must to a fermentation bin. The fermentation bins are immediately moved to a climate-controlled room where the crushed grapes, which we call must, code soak for two to three days. When the must reaches approximately 60 degrees, we add yeast to begin fermentation. Fermentation is a process where yeast consume the sugar and the byproduct is alcohol and CO2. As the fermentation ramps up, the CO2 production also increases, which causes the grapes to rise to the surface. It is very important that we push the grapes back down into the wine. A number of wonderful flavors, color, and compounds are extracted during this process. Every morning and evening, we manually punch down the cap. When the fermentation ends, that means that all the sugar has been consumed and the grapes sink to the bottom. At that point, we need to put a cover over the top of the grapes to prevent oxidation of the wine. This year, we are doing extended maceration, which will provide additional tannins, lots of body, aromatics, which is nose, and flavor. The wine is extracted from the bins and the grapes are dumped into the press to separate the remainder of the wine from the grapes. The wine is pumped into the stainless steel tank and the leaves are stirred every few days for at least two weeks. The rough leaves settle to the bottom of the tank and the clean wine is moved to barrels. The barrels are then moved to the cellar for aging for one year in premium oak barrels. Wine barrels are a great winemaking tool. They do at least four different things. They micro-oxidize the wine. That's a slow infusion of air to the wine. They also add tannins, which are very compatible with wine. Additionally, they add antioxidants, and a really cool component is that it adds wood flavor. Wonderful wood flavor is added to the wine. Here at Landry Vineyards, we use our wine barrels for five years, or five vintages. And at the end of five years, it becomes some lady's back porch furniture. After one year of barrel aging, the wine is removed from the cellar, it's all blended together, and then it's bottled. Wine is a wonderful drink to be enjoyed with food and friends. Mm. That's good. Don't forget, drunkenness is a sin, but a buzz is a blessing from the Lord.